Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, you are looking at my F22 Raptor. I've got a tutorial. I'll put a link up here. It is super fun. I'm going to just show you that I've left all these parts separate. And right now, I'm going to teach you the coolest way to paint in Tinkercad. So first things first, I'm a huge Detroit Lions fan. If you look over here, I have found the hex codes for all the Detroit Lions colors. Watch this. If you just grab the numbers, make sure you don't get the space and do copy. You can switch to Tinkercad and I'm going to create the colors. So you click out here on the color and you choose custom and then you paste it in that block. Now what that does is if you click this and you click over here so you can see the colors, click once and then when you click on an item, it takes on that color. So it's like having your very own paint set for whatever you're building. Let's switch to the black. I did not do anything but drag this to the max black. I'm going to click over here and let's add that to the center. How cool is that? Now I do want to give huge credit to ZDP189. He is the one that showed me this skill. I think it is absolutely fabulous. Let's get the right gray for up here and paint it quickly as well. Once again, click once click again and it transfers the color over just like that i'm going to put this fancy blue which reminds me of the lion's blueberries right there once again click and paint just like that i think i prefer this blue so i'm going to go back and this is how easy you can paint your designs once you build your paint sets click and paint now in the end, after some fiddling, I chose with just the blue and black for this project, but I also want to show you another cool idea. You can take these custom colors and save them forever. You've got to do them one at a time, but if you go over to your creations, click on the one you want to save and hit create shape. Of course, name it. I'm going to tag mine as paint, name it Lion's Blue. I never lock the part size, and if I hit Save Shape and check it out, after a moment, your custom color is stored under your creations, so you can always bring it back. Click, change, paint it just the way you want. Of course, if you want to go back to your other color, you can just undo. Once again, huge shout out to ZDP and... What a fantastic way to store all your custom colors whenever you're creating a Tinkercad project. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to take a moment to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. Of course, I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad. We have tons of amazing categories. And then down below, there are day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. Of course, friends, in the corner, you will find the sweet built-in message tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. I do also want to make note of the link to the Tinkercad community Discord. Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.